Once again, we're looking at our satisfaction data for service grouped into four columns there. Uh, each column represents a store and the customer responses to the satisfaction survey on level of service. You may remember that the, the satisfaction variable was a scale of one to five from least satisfied to most satisfied. And so we've got these data here. And, and you may remember in the ANOVA test, we did find out there was a significant difference between uh, one or more of these stores. We just couldn't determine the difference between um, which store. And so what we're going to do to determine that are uh, a number of t-tests. We're going to, a t-test is basically looking for a statistical difference between two groups. And so in this case we have four, so we have to do six combinations in order to get the total number of combinations of stores. Store one to store two, store one and store three, store one and store four, and so on, until we hit all of the possible two-group combinations. So we're going to run a t-test. Uh, additionally, because we're running multiple t-tests, we have to control for what's called a type 1 error because we're trying to determine uh, the difference between more than two groups here and we're running multiple t-tests. And that'll come up here in a second when we run that. Uh, but to start with, we want to uh, go to the Data tab once again and open the Data Analysis Tool Pack. If that does not appear in your data in your Excel sheet, uh, you can look at my video on how to install that. It comes with your software. You just have to intentionally install it. You open this up and you have a number of options here, uh, one of which is the t-test, two sample assuming equal variances. Uh, we are going to assume equal variances. Uh, I'll show another video on how to determine whether or not they are equal. If they are not, you would just run a different t-test. In this case, we're running the equal variances t-test because I've already tested for equality of variances. You hit OK. This dialog box will open up. It will not have uh, these uh, input ranges already completed because um, you will not have done this. Um, so I will put this back to the default option here. And so to begin with, we uh, want to test group 1 and, and test it for a difference between group 1 and group 2, or store 1 and store 2. So we will put our uh, cursor for the variable range of uh, variable 1 for column A for store 1 and the first cell there. Then we hit the shift key and the control key together and the down key and that highlights all of the responses in that column. And then you'll see that they're listed over here uh, in the variable 1 range. So we put the cursor in variable 2 and we do the same thing for store number 2's data. Put the cursor there up on uh, column B. Down, a shift key, control key, and the down, and you're highlighting all of that, and then you've got your uh, two variable input ranges. We're going to leave the hypothesized mean difference blank. We do have labels in our first row, and here's the alpha. Normally the default is 0.05. This is a very common level of confidence you want to have in your statistical test. I'm not going to explain what alpha means in this case, but I am going to show you that, remember, we have to deal with a type 1 error that's going to uh, possibly occur because we're comparing so many groups. And what that means is we have to adjust this alpha. And basically, we have to divide the alpha by the number of tests we're going to run. In this case, we're going to run six tests. So we would take and we would divide uh, 0.05 divided by 6, which gives us a new alpha of 0 0.0083. So we'll put that in here, 0833. Okay, so now we're ready to run the test, but we want to. I'm going to put an output range here uh, so that we can get the test shown on the same page we're looking at here. So I will have an output range. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, so we're ready to run the test. We've got our two variables here. We've got our alpha labels, output range. Click OK. So there you're looking at the output for the uh, looking for a significant difference between store 1 and store 2. There you have your data, your, your summary data, you have the mean for store 1. You may remember on a scale of 1 to 5, the average response was 3.17 on their satisfaction with service for store 1 and 2.875 for store 2. The uh, value we're most concerned with 
is the um, p-value down here, the two-tail t-value, and you may remember that um, uh, we came up with a, a an alpha of 0 0.0083. What that means is this p-value, if it is less than 0 0.0083, then we have a significant difference between the two groups. In this case, it is not less than 0 0.0083. It is greater than because it is 0 0.06. So in this case, we do not have a significant difference between store 1 and store 2. So essentially, we're going to do this same t-test with the six different groupings to determine if there's a significant difference. You may also remember that we made an assumption that store 2 was going to be significantly different from store 3 because they represented the lowest and the highest means in the satisfaction scores. So let's go ahead and run that data analysis for uh, those two stores. So we, again, we run the t-test, assuming equal variances, hit OK. Now we're going to change our variable 1 range. We're going to put in store 2 data there. So put your cursor up on store 2, shift, control, down, and then for variable 2, we want to put store 3 as data in there. So we clear that out for variable 2, put the cursor in store number 3, shift, control, down, and then you've got your uh, range there for uh, store number 3. We've got our labels, we've got our output our alpha set at 0 0.083. Our output range is the same, so we will hit OK. It's going to ask us if we want to overwrite the output range, and we click OK. And so what that did was it just put your output over the, mo the last output. So once again, you have the same uh, variables here. Here's your average score for satisfaction with service for store number two. And store number three, remember, well, this was the lowest, this was the highest. And here our most important variable here is this p-value two-tail. And you might remember our output, our alpha was set at 0 0.00833. And in this case, this p-value is 0 0.007. It is less than 0 0.0083, which means there is a significant difference between these two stores. So if you were to run the t-test uh, between all of these stores, grouping them, run it six times, you'll find that this is the only two uh, stores, store two and three, where you'll find a significant difference. Kind of uh, confirming our assumption based on the ANOVA test that there was a significant difference. But this is how you run multiple t-tests adjusting for type one error using what's called the bone Fironi correction.